Hello everybody, who is body with their body? Uh, we are going to talk about what happened to me today. I am a person who was brought up to do a lot of work. Like a, a worker, you know, do a lot of work at work, you do a lot of work at home, a lot of work at school, and never take break. Just breaks are for weak people, breaks are for, you know, losers and work hard, work super hard and work even harder until you are falling on your face and you just need to have some uh, sick leave and you just uh, have a burnout and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized that, for example, my father, uh, he doesn't mean it wrongly, but he thinks... I'm not working enough, you know, because I moved into his house and so on. And I started to clean everything and wash and we moved. And I was on, uh, I was just every day from morning to the night, I was cleaning and organizing to make it livable and so on. And uh, mean in between, we are making the videos and we are setting us up. And anyways, I could do like, million things and i'll never do enough today he just told me that i anyways don't do much you know or i anyways just uh, am like uh, relaxed and lazy or whatever and that's what i'm learning last two days to be relaxed and lazy mm -hmm. i am not very and good i have at to it. make you i i am not very good at it but um it's my new me and i'm tuning into it and i'm trying because I feel how exhausted and how, how low energy I am. And I know that a lot of people are like this. They are still trying to convince somebody else or themselves. Hey, I'm worthy. I am worthy of, of my salary. I'm worthy of my partner's love and, and my whatever. Because I'm doing so much, you know, mm -hmm. or women are doing so much they work they come home they clean they take care of, it, of kids if they have kids and they are like a 24 7 job mm -hmm. and and uh, i realized that it really doesn't matter that what i did here for three weeks in a in a row every single day every single several day several hours several hours which is like a whole day mm -hmm. uh I really realized that it doesn't matter. Because it, it comes to the 80-20 rule. The 80% of things that you do, he doesn't even see. Nobody sees. Nobody sees because that. Because everything is clean, mm -hmm. everything is fine. Whether that be cleaning the mirror or cleaning around the toilet or just, uh, I don't know. There's so many things. And it doesn't do any changes in a field. It's just keeping the same field around my body, even shrinking it because I am dragging my energy out of my body, exhausting myself, and it doesn't do any change. So we, I'm realizing that I might make more things which matter, mm -hmm. which really do change, mm -hmm. which change my energy, like meditation, which change my body, like more exercise, like, or at least you know, people th say exercise, exercise, but it's just enough if you stretch, and if if you if if I stretch and if I give some attention to my body, if just I I will have some walk only for the body for the fitness and not for because I'm walking with laundry back and forth and mm -hmm. carrying stuff and because so on. most of your day's energy is going to things and people. It's everybody's and energy. Dogs. It's everybody's energy. Yes. Things and people. And the more things we have, the more energy we, we give out, right? If we had like one sweater, we would probably not have that much, that many problems. You would have to take it into the shower to clean it. Yeah. That's how I used to travel. <laughs> yeah. But no, I just realized that 80 20 rule is could be a great start mm -hmm. uh, can you say something about that 80 20 rule yeah so the 80 20 rule 
uh, you can look it up as well, but it means that the 20% of things that you do in a day lead to 80% of your satisfaction or results. And 80% of the work you do in a day lead to only 20% of satisfaction and results. Mm -hmm. So the idea is that you focus on only the 20% that truly matter, that have the biggest impact on your life, the 80%, and completely ignore the 20%, uh, the 80% of work, which create only 20% of results. Mm -hmm. So who says that they need day which has 48 hours? Now, now you have a recipe. I think that it's very good to start with this rule, but I don't know how I'm going to approach it. I am starting to realize that yes, some things around the household are necessary to do, but I don't have to pick up every hair from the floor and I don't have to have mm -hmm. everything organized. And uh, Look, you can make an experiment. I made that uh, once like a year ago because I was still feeling my days were just wasted. I didn't really do anything. I didn't mm -hmm. accomplish anything. Procrastination, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was writing down the hours of time I took for each task. Like, okay, I was cooking and eating one and a half hours. I was on the phone four hours. I was... Uh, I get it. Yeah. She okay. never likes when I make a lot of when I make a big list of explanations. I get it. We, we, women are me. really to, really quick, you know. Super simple. But yes. no. So I made that list, and I knew exactly what where the twelve or fourteen hours of the day were going, and then I could actually uh, apply the eighty twenty percent rule. I could see okay, eighty percent of my time was invested in these things which really have almost no effect on my life. And only 20% of my entire day was leading towards some kind of result, which is valuable in my life. Mm -hmm. So make this experiment with you, write down what you were doing throughout the day and see where your energy is going. It's super interesting. And for ladies, I would like to say that we are going to do it a little bit differently. So when you say you are going to the bathroom, you are going just to the bathroom and back. You are not going to pick up your partner's laundry, your no, dog's laundry, your but... dog's toys, and meanwhile you put washing machine on, and mm, there is something to put in the kitchen, so you will Until take Until you forget that you even no. have to go to the bathroom. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it happens to me sometimes. So, ladies, don't have to make this list. We are just going to be focused on one task. At, mm -hmm. the, at the same time. We have it a bit easier as men, right? Because we're yeah, then you can make by a nature list. a little bit more selfish and we just uh, focus on one thing. We yeah. have something in our head and we just do that. We don't look left and right. I, I don't see the hair on the floor. I don't see the... Nothing. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, I now live with, with two men. Like... Uh, I am in their presence every day. And well, your father is living in a house next to us and you're living with me. Yeah, and we, well, it's summer, so we are still uh, back talking and forth. back and forth. But men have it really cool. They just have like sequences in a day. They work, so they work. But the work stops, it's done, and then they relax. Uh, but after eating, you know, then they eat, you know, and then they relax. You know, and then they are like, well, what's, what's, what's happening and so on. And, and they, they could do something more or so, but they have sequences. So it's very easy to make a list for men, but us ladies. That wouldn't work for you? I, the list? I, no, because I would like, I would be writing all the time. <laughs> okay. I, because you do like a hundred things. Yeah. At once. I do like 10 things in a yeah, day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's yes. no problem for me to put washing machine on while I'm going to the bathroom and uh -huh. meanwhile maybe wipe something here and there or clean the mirror. Which is totally blowing my mind sometimes. And blowing my mind too. Mm -hmm. My mind is usually blown very, very away. Yeah. <laughs> really. And it's not good. It's not good. I know it's not good. And I saw it on men and they work differently and I am super, I am super excited about trying it on trying it like you know to do and how this. would you try it? to like, just focus I will on one focus thing? on one thing i will be totally relaxed in a, at the end of the day i just have to learn it how to do it
It is also really important for you to just truly relax and not feel guilty about it. Because, for example, now I see the broom, broom there and next to the water for a dog and there is a dirt and it's just inviting me to just swipe it. It's just the one, like a little, little place there, you know, just do it on the way when we will be done with the video on my way to the shower. I'll just do that, but I will not today. So you see, we work differently and uh, we have to approach things differently. So men do the list and evaluate and women focus on one thing at the time. And I guarantee you, it will be like, what is this? Where, what is this? And, I'm, and I know that in a week or in two weeks or in two months, nobody will care. Nobody, I realize nobody cares if there is a dust or if there is a dirt. Besides when your mother-in-law comes or over or when some visitors come. But they don't care either. They just want to have fun with you and a glass of wine or something. So, so try that. Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's very spiritual advice today. <laughs> Which can save your sanity and uh, your energy. energy. A lot of energy. So I'll inform you if you will be interested how I'm doing and I'll do my best to uh, to train this. Mm -hmm. Share with us in the comments how you're dealing with it if you're also having these struggles. Mm -hmm. And if you think that men have it really cool. And if men think that we have it really easy. Do you think we have it harder? Women? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And some be some women would say, no. <laughs> okay. I think you do. So, I'm looking forward for your comments. I totally can't wait to read them. Yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Bye. Bye.